and welcome to Select EV News. Let us talk about some interesting and amazing news which was happened in this week. And here is our first news. Hyundai Ioniq 5 Premium Electric Car which Hyundai is selling globally should be launched in India but due to some reasons their launch is delayed. And finally, the bookings of this car will start from December 20th. Those who are waiting for a premium electric car that is also from Hyundai company can go to Hyundai showroom and pre-book from December 20th. Also, if we talk about this car, there are two variants available in this global car. In the first variant, they used a 58 kilowatt battery and in the second variant, they used a 72.6 kilowatt battery. This car gives a range of 358 kilometers to 490 kilometers. In these two variants, we have rear wheel drive and all wheel drive. In these two options, this car will come in availability. And the price of this Ioniq 5 in our India may be 45 lakhs to 50 lakhs. If you are waiting for Hyundai Ioniq 5, let us know in the comment section below. Wanted to locate nearby charging stations? Wanted to know about discounts and offers from dealers? Looking for electric vehicle accessories? Then download Select EV application. You will find every information regarding electric vehicles. Here is our second news. Establishing their niche into electric vehicle segment. Students of IIT Madras have innovated a brand new electric formula car. 45 students named as Team Raftar have built this RF423 from scratch in a span of a year. This electric formula car will have high speed and lap times. To position on a better level in the world, the students besides improving their practical skills, they wish to become the team for producing the best electric car in the competition held every year. This time participates. By 2025, they will bring up driveless car. The director of IIT has expressed his happiness while unveiling this RFR23. Here is our next news. Volvo's XC40 and C40, the recharge EVs are updates with drivetrain option for single motor. The dual motor variant in retain with 82 kWh battery instead of 78 kWh. These are the updated specifications. 32 km increase in the range of single motor, 64 km increase for recharge twin variants. The faster charging rate is now 200 kV with 10 meters per 10 to 80 percent. The speed is the same as a smaller battery model that is 150 kW. The increase in power for the standard variants is 238 HP from the earlier 231 HP. The recharge twin variants now houses two different electric motors, 163 HP in the front and 245 HP at the rear with the same 408 HP output. The Volvo's new EX90 will be on sale globally in 2024. Volvo will aim at launching new EV every year. And we are moving to the next news. Tesla's first heavy duty semi handed to PepsiCo in the early hours of December 2nd. The electric truck is to lower the highway emissions, beat the current diesel models on power and safety because of the spin of a fast charging technology. The price or offer details are not yet disclosed. Despite Tesla's 5 year experience in EVs, the market specialists are skeptical about battery trucks. The pricing details as per 2017 are $150,000 for 300 mile ME and the 500 mile version for $1,80,000. Beside PepsiCo, Walmart, Breuer, and Husser, Butch, and UPS have pre booked the Tesla semis. In the test drives held across its centers, Tesla's semi that weighed 81,000 pounds had driven 500 miles on a single charge. Liquid cooling technology in the charging connection and can charge at 1 megawatt that will be available to the Cybertruck. Semi also have regenerative braking. And here is our next news. As a part of expansion, AAA will offer roadside charging in 16 metro areas. Without any additional charge, AAA will offer different charging methods to its members. AAA also mentioned that it will learn and serve all the vehicles that its users use. AAA will also offer rewards through credit cards and cashback to its members and consumers. 
and we are moving to the next news it has been 10 days since the completion of month of november electric vehicle sales reports has been released there are no festivals in the month of november so everyone thought that the sales would go down but there is no decrease in sales our electric scooters are coming forward a total of 76148 electric two wheelers were sold in the month of november you also need this sales report that is RTO will get this vehicle portal. According to the Vahan portal report, let's see who is in the top 10 places in the November month. Benlink bike is in 10th position, but this company has sold only 1203 units in this month. In the 9th position, there is Jitendra EV Teach. This Jitendra EV also sold 1219 units in the month of November. Coming to the 8th position, there is Okaya has sold 1767 units in the month of November. And Bajaj is in the 7th position. From Bajaj, we have only one model called Bajaj Chetak EV. Next year, there is a chance that this Chetak will be upgraded and come with more range. In November month, this bike has sold 2987 units in the month of November. Ather is in the 6th position in the month of November. Ather sold a total of 7,541 units in the month. Still in 5th position is TVS. Because of TVS, we have iCube, iCubes and iCube ST3 models. But for iCube ST delivers have not started yet. iCube, iCubes both models have sold 8,073 units together. In 4th position, Hero Electric has sold a lot of 8,692 Hero Electric scooters in the month of November. Okinawa Auto Tech is in the 3rd position and sold a total of 8,750 units in the month of November. And in the 2nd place, Ampere has surprised all our expectations in the month of November and it has stood at the 2nd position with 11,671 units sale. If we talk about the first position, the brand Ola Electric is in the first position in the electric two-wheelers sales report in the month of November. Even in October, Ola is in the first position. This company has sold 15,655 units in the month of November. Here is our next news. Car maker Stellantis is exploring opportunities to build compact electric vehicles in India for export. But is it to take a final decision? It's the chief executive Carlos Tavares said on Wednesday. So far, Europe is unable to make affordable EVs. So the big opportunity for India would be to be able to sell EV compact cars at an affordable price. Tavares said at an event in the southern Indian city of Chennai. This is what we are working out, but it is not decided. This is what we are trying to do. And here is our next news. Domino's is gearing up to put more than 800 all-electric pizza delivery vehicles into service in the coming months, starting with over 100 of them rolling out in November. The company went with the compact Chevy Bolt EV and is wrapping the vehicles with custom branding but no other bells and whistles. Just a commission free deliveries via electric. Domino will have a fleet of 855 new electric vehicles. To be exact, and while that's not quite enough to reach all 6,135 of the pizza shops in the US, it's more than the Chevy Spark based, that means gas versions, once it built with custom pizza warning open doors in 2015. Those were called the Domino's DXP, and only 155 of them were made. Chevy Bolt EVs are capable of going 259 miles on a single charge and considering more stores only serve their local areas. The company thinks each car could last multiple days of deliveries without needing to plug in. GM has also slashed prices on the 2023 model down to a starting price of $26,595, making it one of the most affordable EVs on the market, even counting annoying dealership markups. Domino's has a website with a map where you can see when, where the new EV delivery vehicles are or will be active. I hope you people like the video. If you like this video, please do like, share, comment and don't forget to subscribe our channel. See you all in the next week.
थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग